I have a scene here with a woman in a, an apartment. It's a, it's kind of a horror scene. Uh, I'm going to start with loading up the apartment preset. And um, starting that up now, I'm going to reshape uh, just the kind of tone of this environment to just make it feel like our character is in a in a real room, in an urban environment, just to get that first layer down, make it feel, feel like a real place. So I'm going to arm the track in Resolve. And I'm just going to record this as it's being generated from Kratos Studio straight to the timeline in sync and I can just perform these little subtle changes as the scene plays out. See we've got this scary character coming in behind her um, we want to really relay the tension of that through all the sound design we're going to do using Kodos Studio to this clip. Okay cool so I think that's, our, that's a good first layer I'm just going to turn down these layers to make that fade out. Great, now I'm just going to drag it down to another layer because I'm going to work from this first Kratos Studio layer here in the Fairlight tab. Okay, so next, um, I kind of feel like some moody wind would be nice here. I'm going to use one of the AI weather presets here. Oh, that's super cool. I can just perform the intensity and the, the dynamics of the wind there. So I'm actually going to do this directly to the scene now. That was great. That was so much easier than trying to find the wind recording and get it to work. I could really feel through the dynamics of the scene there and kind of just respond to it, and get a, a unique wind effect. Um, again, there's not really wind really in the scene. It's more of a, an atmosphere I'm looking for. So speaking of atmosphere, let's look through the cinematic presets and go for the eerie scene here because it's, it's horror after all. So just by clicking and moving through the XY pad there, I could get those really, really uh, interesting atmospheric evolving layers. Drag it into the timeline there. Next, I'm going to look for something else. I need some sort of um, something else, something else to um, give a bit more atmosphere. This preset's fantastic, the ethereal abyss. Oh, that sounds great. I love that pulse that's really um, driving the tension here. So again, I'm just going to record and put it straight onto the timeline. That's great. This, this really interesting area between post-production sound design and musical content here that we can just get really quickly. So next, I want a hit to open the scene to add some more drama. I'm going to go for the morbid hit. Well, that was perfect. I'm going to drag that over. I'm going to put that right at the start of the scene. So now I need something kind of boom or a hit when that character comes in behind. That's a nice one. That's also a nice one. Let's just adjust some of these layers a little bit. I'm trying experimenting with the pitches of some of these. I can add that in as another layer to just beef that up a little bit. Okay, now as the scene finishes, I need something else, something that's really, really dramatic. Maybe the atomic ram. Sounds great. I think I need something else, though. I'm going to go to the Dark Entry preset, which is always a good one to try. I like that screaming type effect, so having triggered that, I'm going to drag that over and, and layer it with the Bram. Fantastic. I've managed to do all that work pretty quickly with Quoto Studio directly in Resolve using the Fairlight tab. 